There's a rumour swirling around on the internet that NVIDIA's Blackwell series of graphics cards are subject to a delay, at least in the data centre. And this has been a rumour that's been really gathering momentum over the past several hours online. So I want to talk to you guys whether this is actually true or not, and then discuss whether this is going to impact the gaming variants of Blackwell, which presumably will be named the RTX 50 series of graphics cards, assuming NVIDIA doesn't decide to totally rename their cards it again. So first of all, what is the initial source of these reports? And then we can start to figure out whether perhaps there's some validity to them or not. So I personally first caught wind of these on techpowerup.com. However, at this point, as I said, they have been posted in various places. So let's get into the quote first of all. Now, this is by Yi Wei Wong. Hopefully I've pronounced that correctly. I really get the feeling probably not via Bloomberg. And their report comes uh, directly from the website, The Information, but there are also other sources of this as well, including Data Center Dynamics, and there have been various posts about it on Twitter, and so forth and so forth. But anyway, the quote states, NVIDIA's upcoming artificial intelligence chips, that will be bike will be delayed due to design flaws. The information report citing two unidentified people helped produce the chip and its server hardware. The chips may be delayed by three months or more, which could affect NVIDIA customers, including Meta, Google, and Microsoft. Microsoft. Now, of course, the very fact of the matter is, if someone has worked on these chips in any capacity, let's say they're an engineer, they won't exactly be like, well, my name is Bob, and I work at this specific, you know, manufacturing plant or what have you, and I had this specific role, and, you know, obviously you have to be somewhat anonymous with this stuff, but... There are a couple of elements to this which make me somewhat question it. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that this report is untrue. I have reached out to some sources as of the time I'm recording this video. Again, this report is very new. Uh, the sp sources I have spoken to have essentially told me that they've not heard anything. But for one, it's still quite early, so they are reaching out to more people. And for two... Well, quite frankly, I live in the UK and some people live in different time zones, so just obviously I haven't been able to get to everyone at this point simply because of the time zones. But regardless of that, there are a couple of other things. First, uh, Jensen Huang um, in the recent SIGGRAPH conference has basically said that early samples of Blackwell are now starting to ship out to customers. Now, it is worth noting that this doesn't necessarily completely destroy the fact that this is true. However, it's a good sign, like you wouldn't start shipping this out if you are massively concerned about a delay or some other problem. So you can probably say, well, it's at least not so critical that the product doesn't work or has some massive flaw. I am somewhat guessing here, but yeah, I mean, just the fact that NVIDIA themselves have basically said that these are going to start shipping out, you know, I would have thought by the time Jensen went on stage, and again, it's not like he kind of said, you know, six months ago that we have a target to start shipping at a specific date and that got missed because of a product problem. He basically said it this week. So I think there's a fairly good chance that that is not, you know, at least it's a fairly good sign that Black Bull is okay. And there's also another interesting thing, and this is actually from someone who runs the website semianalysis.com, Dylan Patel. So in Dylan's newsletter, it basically said that we, as in their sources, have heard other rumors about overheating and firmware issues. When we track them down, we feel that they're overblown. There is a variety of teething pains that need to be fixed, but there's nothing that's going to cause a major delay in shipments. And again, just to stress, we are talking, of course, about engineering samples. And as you would expect with any engineering sample, or for that matter, any beta or any testing you're doing with software or pretty much anything, you know, even if you're making art, you're probably going to have some issue with it. Like if you've ever done Photoshop, you know, kind of art, whether you've done photography, whatever, you know there's going to be some issue somewhere and that's just kind of how it is. It's an iterative process and eventually you fix them. And the fact that it's saying it's firmware related and heat, that definitely sounds to me like it's most likely fixable and not really a big deal. So I personally am not making a really big thing of this right now. I don't think there's too much to be concerned about. As for the gaming side of things, now, of course, there have been a lot of release dates, allegedly, regarding for Blackwell. Just as a very quick refresher, and initially there were rumors that the RTX 5090 and 5080 were targeting Q4 this year, so that's 2024. 
But now a lot of sources, including my own, are stating it's going to be next year, Q1. I think, quite frankly, that that's probably not going to change. Um, what I've spoken to from people is that there's just no real reason for NVIDIA to rush. I've also heard some um, some sources tell me that it's GDDR7 and the mass production of it that also somewhat hindered it, although I can't be certain about that because another source basically told me that that's a load of crap and it has absolutely nothing to do with GDDR7, so I'm not really certain. However, what I would probably say is that ultimately NVIDIA doesn't really have any competition in the high end and to be high end just to be very clear i mean the likes of the 5080 the 5090 the titan uh, uh specs that i've also you know kind of spoken about quite recently apparently there's going to be two titans assuming they decide to launch them and again there's going to be a lot of reasons that perhaps products do get shifted or delayed um things like what's going on in the ai market a lot of folks at this point are worried about vc um just essentially drying up for AI, because um, this is going to surprise you guys, but, you know, if you're putting money into things, or rather VCs are putting money into things, they do expect an ROI. And at this stage, well, it's not that no companies are showing, you know, positive signs. It's just that many of them are not really showing products that are going to be particularly monetizable i think i'm putting that fairly diplomatically but you can kind of read between the lines so yeah at this point i think there is a lot of fear mongering from this i don't think that you know we have anything super to worry about again the gaming products are not necessarily going to face the delay if the data center products do i do suspect though nvidia will be very eager to put the blackwell product out at this point for uh you know high performance computing simply because obviously it is such a lucrative market it's going to be very interesting to see what happens honestly to ai and the whole shebang over the next uh, one to two years but i mean that's just about it for this particular video guys hopefully oh no you've enjoyed it take care of yourselves bye for now